man, they do some great work at Mustang Steve in reworking your pedal assembly to just be, oh, butter smooth. You'll never have to worry about that again. Be very smooth. It's so smooth. All right, friends, we are at the Mustang Steve shop. This is where all the magic happens. Michael's gonna show us all the goodness on how to do a pedal assembly and make your clutch butter smooth. So let's jump into it. So what we're looking at here now is I had this on a shelf <laughs> and I had taken it off of a, a previous 67 Mustang. Yeah. So yeah. Is, is this uh is this how you see them often? Yeah. Is this Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, usually though the 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 pop metal bushings are still on here. You know, years and years of, you know, working that clutch pedal. Th th this was a manual transmission. I, I don't think I've ever seen an automatic transmission pedal support with this. Um, it's always the, the manual the that manual. have this problem where eventually, you know, the nylon bushings, they wear out, they fall out. Mm -hmm. uh, and then and then you just have that, that clutch pedal shaft riding here and then starting to wear through that pot metal bushing. And then it starts wearing in there. And then you get a groove in the in the... The clutch pedal shaft and anyways yeah so normally would this be normally would this be rebuildable with if you went back to the factory components um <clears throat> i mean i think most people look at would look at that and be like oh i need to get a new pedal support if you cleaned it up maybe um but i mean you might be able to get it to work the problem is is that now this side of the of uh, what, what you know the the repair kit that you can get various suppliers of, of those kits it's not going to be supported on this side and um so i i wouldn't suggest it yeah. but you know our bearing kit though you know it's not a problem at all in fact even if the clutch pedal has a groove worn in it mm -hmm. which i guarantee you the one <laughs> the clutch pedal had a groove worn in oh it, we got a little friend uh, yeah huh Oh, a little friend there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does he have a name? My, my girl's name, ours. <laughs> um, that one, I think, uh, my kid's name, Munchie. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so, yeah, the clutch pedal shaft, even if it's worn like this, and you have the, the clutch pedal shaft has that groove in it, mm -hmm. the bearing kit that we have will, will work. because That's awesome. So the, it'll repair. Yeah, the bearing doesn't ride on, on the area. where. The Just real quickly, so what is the signs of... This needs, you need to have it pedal replaced. When you press on the pedal and it moves. <laughs> so it's not, not supposed down, to. But it, it, it has play, <laughs> side movement. You okay. can reach down and, um, I mean, you can even hear it. Okay. Especially this one, I guarantee you, you can, you can hear it just clank, clank, you know? Yeah. Um, and there's side side movement. Yeah, so just just so everybody knows, you know, whenever you're you're driving, you know, you think it's just an old car. It doesn't have to be. And that's what, no, you know, no. that's why we're here. Cause yeah. these, these, these folks here know how to modernize your car. In other words, yeah. and make it into, to match today, to make it that daily yeah, driver. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean, we're, we're using a bearing, a ball yeah. bearing. And I mean, it, it, it's so smooth. Yeah. Uh, it just effortless. You know, yeah. the, the only, only resistance you're going to feel is on that clutch pedal. That's awesome. Uh, on the clutch, you know. The so, other thing you might notice is if you if you get this type of wear, it might not fully disengage the clutch. Mm, yeah. Um, and so yeah. you'll get premature clutch mm -hmm. wear and you have a lot of other issues. So yeah. that's the other thing you might notice. Yeah. But yep. it's worn. Pop up the, uh, I've had people tell me they've had to reach under the, the clutch pedal and pop it up with their foot. Oh. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but, but is there incentive for somebody that has a good working clutch? Is there an incentive? For them to go ahead and convert anyway yeah absolutely this is more work than the typical roller bearing kits that you have out there uh, that you you don't have to do any welding but you this will be the last time you ever have to address this period that's awesome uh, i had somebody um a number of years ago uh they actually wanted to do uh, the clutch cable conversion mm -hmm. on it. Uh, but 10, 10 years prior, uh, they had sent in their pedal support to, um, to put the, the ball bearing kit on. Oh. And I got it 
and and looked at it and it was it looked like it had just been installed. Nice. There was no wear on the clutch pedal shaft. Nice. Uh, the bearings felt like literally I just put it in. Yeah. So, that's those are those are magic to to us. Yeah. You know to the builder's ears, yeah. right? Because and, and it was a daily that's, driver. Too. Yeah. This wasn't like something he, you know, put up on a lift and went and took to a couple of shows. Yeah. Here. No, th this was this is something he drove. Yeah. So. So if you don't have, it's one of those things, if you don't have the time to do it right, when are you going to have the time to do it again? <laughs> it's kind right. of things. And so, yeah. yes, I mean, it, it's, you know, it's, it's going to be a little more work. Yeah. It will be the last time you have to have to address that problem. That's awesome. Let's get to it. Let's see what's, okay. what we can do. <laughs> this is where all the magic happens right here. So that's just the angle grinder there. Now I'm a huge fan of the flapper wheels. Uh huh. But um, they're very expensive. Well, you should probably know that you gotta make sure that you clean this up really well. Cause we're gonna do, obviously we're gonna weld the rings, the bearing races here mm -hmm. on the other side. Now I'll say this and I'm gonna ask you, if you have a power brake, if you're gonna be using power brakes, mm -hmm. right? Right. The clutch pedal, and I'm just going to use this one right here because, um, well, it's right here. <laughs> but the clutch pedal, I'm sorry, the, the power brake pedal right. is going to bolt up here, right. which is further up closer to the firewall. A manual brake pedal mm -hmm. obviously goes down here uh, on the, uh, well, if it's, a, if it's a manual transmission on the clutch pedal shaft, is where mm -hmm. it rides. It's a automatic, then it's uh, has like a, just a pivot shaft. I'm mentioning that uh -huh. is because if it is a manual brake mm -hmm. uh, application, you're gonna you're gonna need to put these uh, these large washers on the inside here of the the pedal support. So, so it helps center the manual mm. brake pedal. And and you don't use this brake pedal for manual brakes. For manual brakes, yeah. Um, use a it's a shorter version and doesn't it, it yes. it's different geometry it's between right here. And it, look, Okay. It's a cool. 67 68. So yeah, yeah, um this is well this is a an automatic brake pedal. So it's a manual brakes so and that would mount here. But since we're not, are, are you gonna be doing manual brakes? No, it's planning on using Just, a booster. Okay, yeah. booster. Um, in that case, you don't have to put these then in here. Gotcha. Um, you know, it might add some stiffness, but uh, you don't have to add it then in that case. In that case, you're really only gonna be putting these uh, bearing races here on the outside. Um, so, but, if you were to put these on the inside here, you're gonna you'd have to clean that up clean it on up. the inside. Does, does your uh, kit or does it come, does it supply the washers that you're talking yeah. about? Yeah, do you do you wanna grab a kit Yeah. Um, that has everything in it? There. Um, secret, secret in that notes? No, so <laughs> these are actually, this is paper that prevents corrosion. Oh. So we include it with our parts. Oh, uh, so it prevents corrosion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How does that work? <laughs> I, I don't know how it works. They say it's magic, but wow. anyway, it prevents corrosion. So that way, you know, if the parts sit for a little bit, then they, they don't corrode. That's that. amazing. Okay. So anyway, we make sure to include these in our kits. Very cool. So this has everything that'll come with this kit. You know, mm -hmm. you probably recognize those. Yes. And um, yeah, so basically, um, since we're doing a power brake uh, application, we're not going to we're not going to need these. So we'll, okay. just, we'll set these aside. And um, to continue the prep, because there's there still needs to be some more prep work done. Mm -hmm. um, it's, gonna, it's not. It's going to be a power brake car. Yeah. But this here, see the inside there where oh, that, where yeah, that edge. I'm going to still clean that up. Just you know, gotcha. I I believe in. If somebody were to send this to me, I'm going to clean it up, make it look nice, and and not have you know burrs and things like that going on. But uh, I'm going to go in and sandblast this area here. Now, awesome. question: Are you, do, are you um, going to be using a cable clutch system? 
I will be using a cable okay. clutch system. Are you are you going to be using one of our um the our, our cable clutch setup? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Cuz yeah, so there's some metal work here that I'll show that we oh. have to do. Okay. Um so you can sandblast it further if you want to, guys, but oh, you yeah. don't have to. Yeah, even yeah. even with these installed. Um you can Yeah. Um I'm going to go get a, just simply because I don't know where it could have gone, but So every, now this is an automatic pedal, but uh -huh. still it's, it's all the same manual or, right. um, but this steel, I mean, it's really it's a spacer, um, a power brake pedal, you don't know what this is. Okay. So this is a steel spacer that goes in between the, the yeah. up at the top, at the uh -huh. top of and the so pedal. So what I like to do Anyway, I get the best results mm -hmm. when I do what I'm about to show you. So, okay. The spacing here is really important. Um, and obviously, it, unlike the, well, I don't have one around here, but a, a stock like 65, 66 pedal support, mm -hmm. it's, it's more rigid. And so you don't have this kind of flex. I don't know if you could see it, but see how yeah. that kind of flexes. Because there's nothing down here right. really. Um, all of that to say, when you start putting everything on, oh, it wants to um, it wants to suck it together. Mm. And so what I like to do now, obviously, I have you know something here that I use when when I when I do this right uh, this modification. But I take the steel spacer mm -hmm. and the bolt that goes to the power brake pedal right. Again, this is going to be different if, you, if you're using the, uh, the manual brakes. But essentially what we're doing is I'm going to, because this is really important, the spacing, mm -hmm. I'm going to install this basically, the spacer. Now, if you're at home, uh, you know, you can leave the power brake pedal in. Yeah. Um, but the, the, essentially the idea though is we want to, um, we want to make sure that this doesn't move on us to where we install the, it's like 24, 25 foot pounds. And fortunately I've been doing this long enough where I know what that feels like. That's a, a train feel. Yeah, muscle memory. <laughs> a train. So now... This right here, everything is cinched in together like it's like it would be when it's installed. Mm -hmm. So now we can uh, really we can start to uh, one or two. We can go one or two ways. We can go ahead and start putting the races on, or we can start. Since you're using the Mustang Steve cable clutch mm -hmm. setup, there's some modification here that we do to uh, this area here. Right. That allows you to accept the uh, clutch pedal stop. Um, I'll say this: you can you can install the races, okay, the bearing kit. You right. can install it. I personally find it easiest to work with if this isn't on there yet. I'm going to go ahead and show the route where we we don't put that on yet. Okay. Because quite honestly, it's really easy. Okay. To put this on. Yeah. Um, so I mean, no, that's that's, great. that's not the hard part. Um, really trying to get this all situated and folded over uh, and reinforced. That that that's a little takes a little more, more. work. So first thing we got to do is we're going to notch. I'm going to cut with a cutoff wheel. Now you can do this with a hacksaw blade, but uh, I mean, if you're doing this, you probably have a cutoff wheel or have the ability mm -hmm. to, to use a cutoff wheel. But what we're going to do is I'm going to notch it right here. There is a, a punch and die mark right here. Okay. And I, I try to get on this side of it. Just simply, I'm not fighting that because I'm going to bend it. I'm going to fold this over. Ah, okay. You see? And then of course there's a, 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 a relief a here. Relief, yeah. And I'm going to cut that there. And that relief, what you're meaning by that is right that here. bump. Yeah. Yep, that bump. And then there's another bump right here. Gotcha. So I'm going to uh, cut this. 
and then I'm gonna start folding it over. You could ostensibly just cut this off and then do what we're gonna do here. I like to fold this over to give it more rigidity. And uh, as a machinist, we, you know, rigidity is like, it's everything. everything. <laughs> Make everything is, you know, rigid. So, and we appreciate that. Yes. What I did here, where I kind of like just came in at an angle, mm -hmm. and then over here, it's for clearance, but it's mostly just aesthetics. Yeah. So you don't have these sharp, you know, because I'm gonna take the angle grinder and I'm gonna smooth this up. Gotcha. You know? Okay, yeah. So as otherwise, it would just be like a big sharp edge. You're gonna yeah. go reach underneath there, mm -hmm. doing some wiring. Yeah. And it's going to make working under the dash even more painful, right? yeah. <laughs> if that's possible. Exactly. Right. If it hasn't already been fun, get your biggest ball peen hammer <laughs> and uh, start, uh, start having some fun. What I like to do, you can do this a number of ways you can you can get some oh, uh, yeah. vice grips and clamp on it and start folding it over. Mm -hmm. I think I'll go ahead and do that just to show you. Okay. But it helps to have this kind of tools. I did say most machines are deaf, right? <laughs> yes, you did. Now, I like to do a little trick that uh, just to get that down more is um, get, take your vise. Oh. You have a good vise like this. Uh -huh. We're essentially gonna use it as a clamp or a press. Yeah. And I have an aluminum bronze rod here that ain't gonna bend, so I'm not nice. worried about it. But what this is doing is just kind of, it's just getting it. Let's sit down better. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of tack it to get it, make sure it, you know, it stays down uh -huh. and then I'll take the C clamps off and uh, finish welding out the rubber. there uh -huh. for a screw. I'm also going to fill this space here in. Oh, nice. Um, just simply to, uh, we're going to want a nice smooth surface to for that clutch pedal stop to sit in. Awesome. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is come back with an angle grinder. Uh -huh. I'm going to smooth that up. Okay. I obviously as you can tell, I have two of these. Oh. I have done a few of these. Yeah, what is that? This is essentially a jig. Okay. Okay. And don't necessarily use that most of the time. But what happens is that this will, obviously most people aren't going to have this. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, the, the directions on the ball bearing kit, they give you directions on how to go about doing uh, what we're doing centering it what have you without using a jig okay you know, again, most people don't have that but i oh, fortunately I do have one of these yeah. and it makes it go much easier yeah uh but you know it just it's just a aluminum it serves as a heat sink but also obviously to center everything work other than, than yeah. what we're doing here sweet and i suggest <clears throat> only because welding 
maybe most people know this, maybe some don't, but uh, the, the best thing to do is to uh, weld on four sides. I try to do four welds, north, south, east, west. Kind of. Okay, if you don't have this jig, just kind of explain maybe the way you could do this mm -hmm. in your driveway. Yeah, exactly. So you're, you're gonna have these. These um, ah. bushings will help center that hole. Um, and you're going to um, essentially use these bushings to help center everything. Uh -huh. I had a similar application, so I was trying to install a clutch and I didn't have the clutch tool. Uh -huh. So I found two sockets. One OD matched the smaller hole and one OD matched the larger hole. Oh. And then um, I was able to, I can't remember what I put in the middle if it was an extension. Mm -hmm. So one had a larger, you know, one was three eighths and the other was, um, I guess half. Anyway, and so that kept the, the sockets concentric and then uh, then the one, the larger, it aligned the larger to the smaller. So we got this all set up. Uh, it's just a matter of really welding, welding those in place. place. Now, three quarters of an inch or so. Okay, right, let's see the weld penetration yeah. on the back side. You yeah. want to make sure and have penetration otherwise. It'll... Yeah. Yeah, the objective is make sure that, you know, you're fusing that metal together. It's hot. I bet. You can see how, even though that yeah. layer is Yeah, there, even though that's wallered out on that side. Yeah, it's, it's not going to affect mm -hmm. anything. No, that's awesome. Yeah. Now, what this is going to do... Obviously, even if you're not using this booster, right. it's it's gonna set up the height, the pedal height. Okay. Okay, and so um, that's why I have this booster here. When you get I'm... down to that, where you're about to break through, you wanna slow down. Okay. Like that. Got it. Brake bushing mm -hmm. and put there in the input shaft ah, of the booster. Okay. It just again helps center that. Mm -hmm. We don't try to get as close to the the installation height of the pedal. Ah, I see. <laughs> Ta -da. And this is just pretty straightforward. You're going to Slide this up in there now. Again, what we're trying to do here is kind of mock it together. Uh -huh. There we go. And the wrong size color pen, maybe. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. And there we go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Awesome. Smooth operation, man. Yeah. Yeah, you can feel that. It's yeah. Very... It's just so, uh -huh. yeah, so solid there. Yeah. No, no side play. Mm -hmm. It's just smooth and yeah. uh, it's just a, it's a great product. Sweet. Yeah. So That's awesome. the cable will come up in here and, uh, very cool. Yeah. All right, friends. So what a great experience. The team over at Mustang Steve is, this is a solid product and I'm excited to put this in the car. So I'm heading back, gonna put this in the car. All right, now we're focusing our attention on getting this assembly out of all the firewall bolts out. These two bolts are out. We got the, the steering box out. And now we are gonna work on pedal assembly. 
out enough to where it falls down like that. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two pedal assemblies. This, is, this was the one that was in the car I just pulled out, and this is the one that, that Mustang Steve team just modified, and it is butter smooth. So I'm gonna go outside, throw some paint on it, and let's get this thing installed. All right, so just wanna show you what's going on under here. So there's a mark here that represents a bump in the cow panel and you're gonna need to do some massaging on that. So in order to do that on this one, I'm going to be adventurous and take out this vent and that'll also give us some room for the E-Pass, the electric steering system. So go ahead and get to that. Oh, the fun of removing a vent. There's usually like Chewbacca hanging out inside here. If you don't know what that means, well, WTF, dude. I made some marks where the quadrant was hitting. So now I just need to All right, so now it's time to install the pedal assembly that uh, Mustang Steve team has redone. So take your instrument cluster out, take your column out, and then there is a flasher bracket that sits usually typically like right here on a, on a 67 Mustang. So you're gonna wanna take that out. I'm just putting this screw where I don't lose it. I'll put it back when I'm ready but you're gonna to wanna to take that out just to make sure you have clearance for everything underneath there. And just kinda of go in the same way that it came out. You're just gonna kinda of go back in with it. So, all right, so you're gonna to wanna to go in from the top and then kinda of position it to the back. And what helps is if you don't have your instrument cluster in the way, you can kinda of guide your studs like that. So now, while your hand is holding this pedal assembly up here, and then you can take a three inch clamp of sorts, just to kind of hold it there for a minute. I'm gonna take this clamp, run it down. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and take your, your bracket and the nuts. All right, so we have the clutch pedal assembly in there. Um, trying to focus here. Yeah, the pedal, that's the kind of clearance we want. We want to have it free, nothing getting in the way. So that is awesome. Except for this freaking heater cable, it's all in the way. I'm about to cut it off. Anyway. Looking good. So I had to clearance that, that upper cowl just a little bit. Give it a little massage with a couple of hammers, small ones and larger ones. All right, my friends, that puts a wrap on this video. I really think this pedal assembly is going to drastically change the driving experience of this 67 Mustang. Please stay tuned and like and subscribe as we get this 67 on the road.